do you have tons of AA batteries? No, really. Do you have tons of rechargeable AA batteries that don't hold their charge anymore or don't seem to last very long? If you do, you may want to look into changing the kind of charger that you have. What I recently just bought was the Maha Power X. I don't know which it is. Everybody calls it a Maha Power X because it's made by Power X, but it's also actually made by Maha or some some business like that. So I just bought this and um, just got it today. So I thought I'd open it up, show you what's inside of it, and explain to you some of the key differences between this charger and most chargers that you'll buy at Walmart, Radio Shack, places like that. So let's open her up. There's the charger itself, all nicely packed in bubble wrap. Got instructions and some sort of a quick start guide or something there. And then the adapter to plug it into the power. And there we go. So one of the key things about this is not only does it charge, but it will also cycle and analyze the batteries. So with nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries, they'll develop a memory over time. If you don't discharge them all the way, they will develop a memory and eventually will only discharge to a certain point, even though there is still life left in them. So with this, it has several options here. Let's get it up close to the camera. We got charge, refresh, analyze, break in, discharge, and cycle. So this will let you break in your batteries when they're brand new. It'll let you charge them normally, but this has a selectable charge rate because charging too fast, like many of the so-called fast chargers that you'll buy at Walmart and Radio Shack, will degrade the life of your batteries very, very quickly. Refresh Analyze is good if you have a pile of batteries like these that some of them don't hold their charge anymore, others don't seem to work at all, you know, you can, it will refresh them and analyze them, just as the name of that function states. Refreshes, analyzes, tells you how much capacity the battery has. Discharge will fully discharge the battery and cycle will obviously fully charge it, discharge it, fully recharge again. It cycles the battery. So some of those things are very, very important. It's a very good idea to um, charge your batteries more slowly. This offers um, a great deal of options as to how to charge your batteries. Um, there's some absurd amount of charging rates like 20, 20 different rates or something like that, all the way from like 100 milliamps all the way up to 2000 milliamps. Now most of your cheap chargers like Walmart, Radio Shack, you know, the fast chargers that Energizer and those sell for, you know, 10 bucks or something. Um, most of those are fast chargers. They charge at like, you know, at least a thousand milliamps, which will burn up your batteries in a hurry. If you ever feel those batteries when you're charging them, they get really, really, really hot. That's why it's because they're cranking so much current into them. And another problem, a lot of those chargers don't just shut off. Once the battery's fully charged, they just keep cranking the power in and it'll just burn your battery up if you don't take it out when it's done. So, um, I'm going to report back after I've owned this for a while and used it as to how it works and um, what I think of it. But uh, as for now, this is a good little introduction to the PowerX MH9000 or MH-C9000. and. I thought I'd bring up another little thing that I bought too, is some Eniloop low self discharge batteries. I'm going to be trying these out too, again with this charger. Um, my brother is very impressed by these because you can charge them and then throw them in a drawer and leave them for years, pull them out, throw them into something, and it's just like practically like the day you charged them. They say 
three years of sitting, just sitting, um, they'll retain 75% of their original charge. So charge them up, leave them sit for three years, they're still 75% full, which is a big change from most of these standard nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium batteries, is even just after a few months, they completely discharge and you have to recharge them. So if there's anything specific you'd like to know about the charger or the batteries, feel free to let me know, leave a comment, post on the forums, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll report back on these things later. Thanks.